Okay, guys, so I am in Longwood Garden, and the Rose Garden is blooming. I can smell this coming down the way. It's just starting to open. Um, and I've shown this to you guys before. I just wanted to see if they put anything new in here. Let's see. They got some GM right here called Wet Kiss. They've got, you know, the Meadow Sage. And here they have Blue Pine Tequila Flame. You guys probably saw me drooling over that. Well, guess what? I actually found some uh, this year. So I, that's a new addition to my garden. And their bearded iris are looking absolutely amazing. Actually, you know what? I have a similar color to that. This one is called LaRue Boswell. I'm going to have to check mine to see if it has that, um, uh, that color of beard on it. Uh, this looks like the Stand By Me Clematis. Other flower. Oh, that columbine is really pretty. Um, this one's called Viper's Bug Gloss. Okay. Knockout roses. Um, let's see. Okay, this is a Burgundian rose. That's pretty. Let's go down here. Um, well, these are really pretty. So Longwood pretty much cuts all of the roses back to like 18 inches. And so over the season they regrow. Oh, that's the color of that rose right there. See, they got some eucalyptus over here. And some Don Freeman. Mm. Oh, that's a pretty one. Oh, these grew back fast. See some Charo Chinese rhubarb. Okay, so now I'm gonna go take you guys to see the peony uh, garden because I finally got it. See it while it was being bloom. Okay, so here they changed this out. Uh, so let's see, we've got bossa nova begonias. We've got some apricot color, some land peachy lantana, the licorice plant. We've got some eucalyptus and that sort of thing. Petunias. Let's walk this all the way around. Very, very pretty. Okay. Let's go down the floor, flower walk and see how that's changed. Okay, guys, here's the flower walk. Oh, man. Hey, they ripped it out. So I get I know they're gonna put you be planting new stuff, but gracious. <laughs> you know, if you come to Longwood very seldom during the year, you don't ever get to see it like this. But you know, a few weeks ago this was planted all kinds of tulips. I see some delphinium and stuff over there. And maybe some lark fur. Uh but down, down there, they have a, have a lot of fox right now. That's still planted. Uh, but we're going to go into the peony garden. I posted some pictures already on Instagram. I just want you guys to be able to see all the blooms. Ooh, on that. Okay.
So let's see what we've got here. They always have the allium. Uh, this pink, I kind of remember what this pink peony is. It's really nice. Uh, I see if there are tags somewhere. I see some apricot ones back there, peeking through that are about to come out. I see. Okay, so that's the rocks trees peony called amethyst bunting, but that's not what this right here is herbaceous. Oh, here we go. Hang on. I see the tag in here. Uh, this one is called uh, Cytheria. Okay, so that is Cytheria. Okay. And there's more of the Cytheria down here. I did smell it. It doesn't have much of a scent. Uh, this one is called Garden Treasure, I believe. Uh, this is an intersectional peony. I think. Yeah, I think it's an intersectional peony. Oh, you know, that's a different one back there. Let's go see. Let's go see what that is. Okay, so this one is Coral Charm. Hmm, it's really big. You know what? My peonies, I think, are mislabeled because both of mine kind of look like that, and I'm supposed to have Coral Charm and then Pink Hawaiian. Uh, this over here is a intersectional peony. Let's see if I can find the name on it. Actually, this is another intersectional peony. Um, this one looks like... Is this Julia Rose? Or maybe Canary Brilliance? Now, they're saying back there that's supposed to be cheese country. That is not cheese country. Cheese country is white. So that's mislabeled. Okay, this one over here, I don't know what this one is. Hmm. Now this one looks like, it kind of looks like Cora Louise a little bit, but I don't know if it is. And I gotta be honest with you, the labeling game this year is pretty bad. Okay, let's walk on here. Okay, I see a sign over here. Ah, I guessed right. I said it was Julia's Julia Rose or Canary. Canary Brilliance, it's Julia Rose, so I was right. This one. Okay, so oh, I've seen this one before. I'm drawing a blank on the name though. Darn it. <laughs> okay. Okay, so Canary Brilliance is over this way. See, I don't think it starts off that yellow. I think it fades to that yellow. I think it's got more pinkish in it. Oh, yeah, like this one when it opens. There we go. So tree peony over there. Um, that keeps 
saying this one is cheese country. Okay, guys, I gotta stop and look this up. This is gonna bother me. Okay, guys, so I stand corrected. It is cheese country. The reason I was thinking it's white because there's a, a white peony called cheddar. And it actually has a similar thing to that, except it's white. That's kind of weird that they would call this one cheddar country. Um, but yes, excuse me, cheese country. But that's what it was. I'm getting it confused with cheddar. So there is a cheddar a peony that is a cream white. So, but that's cheese country. Okay, interesting. Well, um, now we know. Or I guess I should say, now I know. Okay, so I feel like I need to take a few selfies here. So let me take some. Okay guys, so nothing much with the section has changed. I'm sure this is gonna get ripped out shortly because they're taking everything else out. It is very pretty. I like that single shape of the peony. I gotta figure out what this called. Well, that's not labeled. Okay, so that's Petite Porcelain. Mm. Petite Porcelain Peony right there, which I've seen before. This is a normal, which is just that I have this one. Um, I've never seen yellow ones. Okay, so this is D Dutel, which you guys know because I have this one. It's pretty. Well, you guys know that because I have it and I absolutely love it. That's gotta be the outdoor theater. That's that. I think the ones that I got from the Amish farm are pink. Those are like those right there? They're like these right here. Oh, that's what they said. I um, still don't know what this one is called. This one is Bartzella. That one I know. Okay. Oh, is this Dawn Pink? Okay, so that's the medium pink one. And this one over here is a la mode. Okay, that's pretty. <sighs> okay. Still don't know what that deep pink one is though. Oh, I'm gonna have to look it up now. Yeah, it's up that way. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, I don't know what that one is. I'll have to ask somebody. Uh, but, yeah, they torn everything out. Antenna. Those are zinnias right there. And these I'm, I'm, are um, soloja of some sort. Let's see. I think the antenna is called Landmark Gold. Okay. I'd be interested to see what the zinnias are called. So. Okay, so this is marigold. This one is called Aztec marigold, Inca 2. It's a Japanese holly. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, I'm just trying to... It's the Lantana. Osteoparmospermum. Okay. Hmm. I guess that's what they're planting in that section. Okay, so we'll come back when this is further along. There's really nothing to see much here. So let's go back. So I'm just, just looking at how they do this. So it looks like they're suctioning off with the pop, big old popsicle sick things where things are gonna go. Cause I notice it's like, you know, they have a whole, hang on, hang on let me. So they have like this whole section right here. And then we have a section that goes kind of like this. That's my theory about it anyway. So we'll see what happens once they actually uh, put it in. Oh, okay. So these right here, okay, so the, these zinnias at least are called zesty orange. Okay. So it looks like this year they're actually mixing like the yellows and oranges and stuff to, and together. Okay, interesting, very interesting. So, once again, I'll come back once everything is planted. Okay guys, so I'm sitting down, getting something to drink. Uh, I'm gonna look at the idea garden and then I gotta get to the cafe before it closes so I can get coffee. Oh, okay, looks like we can walk over here now. Can't wait to see what it looks like. I'm sure we can't go in. I just want to see how pretty it is. Ooh. Oh, this is nice. So let's see. We've got a lesser element called Montrose White. It's gonna be pretty. Oh, they got germander um, right here. You guys know I love me some germander because I have it. And then looks like they got some rosemary, garden sage. Oh, a lot of herbs here. Province fennel back there. This is interesting. It's just a lot of herbs in this section. Okay. This is gonna smell really nice. And I think there's, I know they're moving the 1906 into this building somewhere under there. So maybe they'll use that for cooking. Let's take a minute to appreciate the, the, the main fountain garden. Okay, almost there. So this is the idea garden. Things are definitely getting bigger in here. It's starting to fill in. Not that anybody's surprised because that's kind of what plants do. Oh, that's sweet pea. Let's see. This one's called, oh, this is a uh, Molly Ralstone. Okay. Mm. Mm, ooh, actually, that has a nice fragrance. Actually, kind of reminds me of the way um, that uh, snail vine smells. Oh, I see some foxtail lily up there. I really need to get some of that for my garden. Now this is already, nice. this stuff is already nice and big. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's um, Patman or Nepeta. Like this beach hedge. Oh, 
check out that elephant ear. That's cool. Let's go in here. So I see some eucalyptus right there. French marigold. Xenia right here. That's Cinderella peach. So I'll be interested to see whether or not it takes the true form. Because I, that's the... Cinderella is supposed to have an anemone flowering shape. I never, I had very few that actually took that shape. So we'll see how long that is. Now I know some of it can be a watering issue, but still. Okay, that's amaranth right there. Um, I'm trying to remember. Is that maybe autumn torch? I think it's autumn torch. Or maybe coral fountains. Actually, maybe coral fountains. Uh, that. Okay, that's slightly different. Dude, where are the labels, people? Where are the labels? Um, okay, hang on. There's got to be labels somewhere. Okay, so the lighter one is definitely Coral Fountains, which I believe I called. Um, just don't know what the red one is. Not unless it's that color faded. Huh, interesting. Because I know sometimes, yeah, no, that can't be the same one. Okay, which one is this one called? Oh, that's just the regular Love Lies Bleeding. Okay. There is a red version that's that that droops like that. It's just called Love Lies, Lies Bleeding. And the colors actually have names like Coral Fountains and that sort of thing. So, now I've solved that mystery. I can go about my day. check this out and there's the peas garlic this is radish um, maybe that's some sort of radish right there and it's peas with butterhead lettuce on the side more lettuce There's Hamburg parsley at the edge. All kinds of peppers. This is nice. Potatoes. Uh, oh, this looks like, is it callaloo maybe? Looks like some sort of amaranth. Got asparagus over there, cauliflower. <laughs> over here we've got all kinds of peas these are snap peas look at all of that over there absolutely beautiful some strawberries uh, I think that's dill and it's got snapdragons down the middle uh, it's got some Minoan lace. It's part of the carrot family with some cabbage. And then we've got snow peas. I don't know what the purple stuff is. Oh, I like these. How they do these panels. This is, oh, fear few. <laughs> yeah, I have that. That's vigorous. Very vigorous. My mom, as a matter of fact, will not grow fever few because she saw what it did in my yard. I like these bamboo things in here too. I see Boxer Button, Centauria, uh, GM, uh, Veronica, sort of thing. Uh, these look like some scabiosa back here. 
right there. That's pretty. And that looks like beer tongue. Oh, no, not, yeah, beer tongue, penstemon. Yeah, is that maybe Midnight Masquerade? Uh, is this, I don't know what it, I don't even know what this is right here. Is it a lily, maybe? That's definitely yarrow. There's some phlox right there. That's uh, eryngium, sea holly. Okay, what time is it? 37. Okay, I have a lot more I can go down and see you down here and then gotta go get my coffee. One day, people, I'm gonna have a vegetable garden like this. Oh, I like this. This is gonna be cute. Moss Rubina. I see some dianthus in there. Petunias. Delphinium. Arrow. Poppies. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. So some purple elephant ears. Oh, this is pretty. See some nephophia. See verbascum. Like a little wind chime thing with the uh, forks and spins. That's nice. Uh, okay, and that looks like a peach tree right there. Oh, it is a peach tree. It's got fruit on it too. Oh, all right. Let me walk back. Guys, look at that. Those are all the plants that they're going to plant. That is so awesome. And that is a nice deciduous azalea. So anyway, I'm on my way out.